hi guys and welcome back to my channel i've been away for what seems like an eternity but i'll tell you why in coming videos in today's video we are going to attempt to make this anthropology day bit mattress that i've been spotting a lot on pinterest lately now what i i you know i kind of tried to find something whatever cheapy stuff that i could find at the thrift store so this was an unused foam mattress that measured about 12 inches by 35 inches and about four inches in thickness so i thought if i put these two mattresses together um it would give me the kind of the, a, you know a, an appropriate size i would say for something that i could sit down and meditate on so I went ahead and tried to join it together with this spray glue but it was a complete waste of time. Now whenever you're cutting fabric or wood or anything for that matter always remember to measure twice and cut once. So I used this really nice velvet fabric which was upholstery fabric but um, when I say measure twice, cut once, I wish I had thought about what I was measuring instead of just measuring twice and cutting twice. So I should have left like ample, ample of ease in this, but I did not. But anyways, with the sewing, I went ahead and sewed the side ribbon first, you know, the, the one that will go around the four inches height. After I sewed, I did a normal stitch. I did an understitch on both sides, kind of like, you know, just to make the seam flat on each side. And it's like, as you can see, even my stitches are not like in a straight line, but it works. Hey, doesn't matter. No one's going to scrutinize it. For the corners of my fabric, the top and, um, you know, all four corners, I kind of uh, rounded it up a bit because when you're trying to um, sew the corners, it's always easier when you round off the corners a bit because you can use either a top or, you know, a cup or whatever that you have. What you see me doing here is nicking just the, you know, just before I start sewing the corners, I nick a little bit of the fabric so to sort of like mark the fabric so that I know where to start sewing on both sides. That way, when I sew the top and the bottom to the ribbon, it won't like skew away too much. Um, you'll see what I mean when you sew something like that, but it's very important to leave markings on your fabric so that it's kind, you know, kind of easy to sew. Just, I guess just watch along and see what I do. When you reach the corners where you know you you will have excess fabric and as you see this is where i kind of nicked the top and the bottom of the ribbon so a straight line down through those markings or you know just where it's enough to kind of square off the edges now as you will see when i sew this and cut off the excess fabric i do have like a piece of fabric that's like nicked in the corner there Look, if it doesn't bother you, then it doesn't matter. You can always open it up and try to, you know, make it right. But for me, this works. And and then I go ahead and uh, sew the top piece of the fabric. Now, with the topic of the fabric, I sew the two long edges and one short edge and leave one short um, edge of it open so I can, like, put the cushions through before sewing that shut. So this is why I kind of said that the spray glue was a waste of time because as you can see the two foam uh, mattresses did not actually adhere to each other at all so that was a complete waste of time or maybe I just didn't allow it to dry enough but either way it was an unnecessary step 
Now, another re- you remember how I said like I wish I'd left more ease. So while I sew this shut, hand sew this shut. If I had more ease in my fabric, I would be able to kind of pinch the fabric to give it like that anthropology, you know, um, the the look that their their mattress had. I can't really do that here because I don't have enough ease to kind of pinch the sides. And you will see me trying to struggle through um, as we move on into the video. Yep, and this is me trying to achieve that look, except it's not really working. And as I mentioned before, I just don't have enough ease in my fabric. It's just too thick. It's not going to work, but I tried anyways. I, I went like halfway through and then I was like, my thread kept breaking because you kind of need like a thicker thread for this. So it was not going to work either way. I, eventually, I realized my mistake and where I went wrong and I just stopped and did something else. So I kind of went back to my you know, my drawing board and my inspiration and I looked at the anthropology day bit. So the mattress kind of has like this puckering where they put like, it looks like you have like this tufting. That's what it's called. Yeah, tufting. That is the word. So it has this tufting that are that is parallel to one another. But I can't really do that here because as I mentioned before, I didn't leave enough ease and my cushion cover is kind of nice and snug. So I managed to do like five tufted um, areas, five tuftings. So whatever it's called I use a really long doll's needle and I also used a really thick thread the ones that I just a normal thread I guess I found in my arts and craft book that I used to wrap presents with or kind of like decorate it was thick enough for me and hardy enough for me to be able to pull and really um, you know pull it tight so I can make the knot and do that whole tufting method and um, yeah, I guess this is the, you know, this is all I could do with my cushion. But it worked really well in the end. I'm very happy with the five um, tufted areas that I had in my cushion overall. I'm pretty pleased with the um, with how it looks. Although I do think that I might redo, knowing me, I might redo this again in the future with like, I guess, more more ease in my fabric or whatnot. But let me know in the comments below what you think of it. This is my new meditation area. I love it as it is right now. It's really nice and comfortable. I can sit on it, meditate, and it has, you know, just something nice and soft for my tushy to sit down. Do subscribe below and follow me for more videos. And I will let you know why I've been missing in my upcoming videos. Until then, have a great day, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.